Um, hi guys, this is a movie review, and the movie I'm going to be reviewing is, um, The Conjuring. I saw it around, um, the night before yesterday. Well, not the night, because I don't watch scary movies the night. Um, the day. I'm watching during the daytime. Yeah. Um, actually, I have never seen the trailer to this movie ever because I don't watch TV. So, when I, um, only reason I knew what kind of what it was about was because I looked up online and, um, it had the movie description. So, yeah. I would say, I was saying, I'm hearing a lot of people say, like, oh, it was so scary, it was so scary. Okay. First off, the movie is not that scary to me. It's not that scary to me. Even the person I with, they were scared. I would say it has some scary moments, you know, like, where, you know, like, when you're not expecting something to happen, then it just instantly happens. Like, that kind of scary to me. And another thing that was kind of scary to me, it, it was the lady's f face or whatever. I don't want to say she was ugly, but, um... She just didn't have a... She had a very homely face. And that's what made it kind of scary. I actually thought I was going to be scared. And I actually was a little jumpy afterwards. Like, anything that, like... If I didn't see it coming, then I was kind of, like, scared. But... Usually, these kind of movies do scare me, and I don't, I usually watch them once, and I rarely watch them, like, Paranoia Activity. I haven't even seen any of those. I've only seen, I think, Paranoia Activity 1, and I've seen bits and pieces of it, and honestly, I do not want to see it. And this, The Conjuring is based on a true story. So, um, yeah, I know there's a lot of people who don't believe in stuff like that, like evil spirits and demons and stuff, but I do. So, this kind of stuff, um, it scares me because I know that it could happen to me, but I don't really worry about it happening to me at all. Because I really thought after I saw this movie, I was going to think somebody was like, I was going to go to sleep and somebody was going to pull my leg when I was asleep. Or jump down from my little wardrobe thing on top of me, but actually, I, I sleep pretty good. Pretty good. So... To me, it was a really good, it was a really good movie to me. And I like how they intertwine kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like the lady, okay, if you've never seen the movie, this is like a spoiler or whatever. So the lady, the mother in the story, she ends up being possessed Okay, let me start from the beginning. It's really about these two, like, paranormal activity people. They come to the people's houses assessing to see if it's really just ghosts or just some rationable thing that's causing a noise or whatever they think it is. And they've been doing, I guess they've been doing it for a while now. They have, like, this room. That was really creepy. And this is based on a true story. And I still think this is really creepy if they still have this stuff. The stuff that was, um... I, I don't know if possess is the right word for it because in the movie they were saying, you know, demons and evil spirits, they don't possess items, they possess people. So, um, I guess they're in the items or something like that. They have a whole room full of every, every little situation that they've been in. They keep one thing from it and they keep it all in their room. They say they have a preacher come by, bless it every month and, um, and they make sure they don't touch anything. Well, they make sure they have a daughter. They make sure she doesn't touch anything. If she does, you know, they go straight to praying and all this kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, back to saying. They get to this. This a lady with five daughters. They move into this house. A bitch, whatever they, they've never seen. They've never been to before. They bought it off of an auction. This house is in the middle of the woods, for one. I mean, really in the middle of the woods. So, it's a, it, it was a nice house. It looked like it was haunted. It really did. Um, it first starts off as a lady. She starts getting these bruises on her. And then they have a, a, a little daughter. I guess she's around four, four or five. And she has one of the ghosts or whatever. 
is a, a little boy that got murdered by his mom so he becomes I guess like friends with the girl his name the little girl her name is his name is Rory it started when she got this little toy that he had or whatever um which I don't understand I mean I know as a parent kids make up imaginary friends or whatever but honestly if I was a parent that would creep me out because I would have to since I believe in like evil spirits and demons and stuff I've had to wonder is that something like that or is it just like my kids imagination I don't know but Rory really wasn't um he really wasn't bad he was just like I guess like friends or whatever and she would always say he's sad or whatever because of what happened to him what really happened to the land is what started the whole thing is back in the day before they moved into the house it was a lady who I guess she tricked this man into marrying her they had a baby the baby was only seven days old before she sacrificed her baby to Satan, went outside, hung herself, and possessed, well, pro professed her love for Satan and hung herself and said if anyone ever, whoever moved onto her land, they would be, um, she would curse them for life. So I guess that's what she did. It was another family that moved in there. It was a maid. She killed herself. And like I said, the little boy was killed by his mom because his mother ended up being possessed by them I mean by her her name was Sheba so yeah and what I really liked about the movie is the the mom actually does end up getting possessed after her daughter's like you know um the little thing tells her to um uh, tries to possess her to kill her two of her daughters and um it doesn't happen because they they stated like uh three ways of how these demonic spirits do this they do first it starts off with inf infestation they said it's like you know you're hearing the voices the movements of things and that kind of stuff then that leads to oppression which i've looked up oppression and um possession before um, but oppression is really like, that's them like, that's when they get to the point where they're like breaking you down to the point where you're actually weak enough for them to possess you. That's what they did to the mom. You know, she was worried about her kids or whatever. She was tired, you know, and scared and worried about, you know, her kids. And what actually ends up saving her, they try to do an exorcism. But it didn't really go so well. It, I'm going to say. Yeah, it didn't go so well. And she still ended up being like possessed kind of afterwards. And what really had to happen was she had to fight within. Um, I guess her spirit had grown weak or whatever. And Sheba was able to, you know, take control of her like that. But her kids, you know, the lady who was helping them you know they was telling her she had to fight you know and um i don't know the exact scripture but in the bible it's like um the war that we're fighting is not a flesh and blood it's um spirit and i forgot the other thing it was so that's what really sh that was like her battle going on on the inside and her daughters was the thing you know that made her turn around or whatever but they said this was a true story, which kind of makes it scary. But like I said, the movie wasn't that scary to me. I will say I won't watch it again. I will say the movie, The Exorcism of Emily Rose and The Poster Guys was scarier than this movie. And I've never, I've seen The Exorcism of Emily Rose once and that's all I need to see. But yeah, that movie scared me. And um, I've seen Poster Guys, I believe, when I was like a kid, seeing that once and I'm probably never gonna watch that movie again so yeah so I would say if you're scared of those kind of movies then don't um I wouldn't advise you to watch this movie 
at all. But um, all in all, it was a good movie. And what I like doing this, most um, horror movies, really truly horror movies, they're like real serious or whatever. But this one actually had like a little bit of funniness in it, which I like that. So, yeah. It was something else I had to say about the movie, but I forgot. I'm trying to think. No, I forgot what I was saying. I'll think about it. I'll probably think about it later. So, yeah. Mm. Excuse me. So, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Oh, wait. I know what I was going to say. Actually, this movie, if you don't know that much about, um demons and possession and all the other kind of stuff it gives like a little bit of knowledge on them like I said I but me I've already looked this kind of stuff up before and I know I said um, this kind of stuff kind of like scares me and I don't know why I look it up but I like to know stuff so yeah I guess that saying is true curiosity killed the cat yeah Oh, another thing I like, at the end of the movie, it was, um, it had, like, a little paragraph shown at the end of the movie. It was saying something like, you know, um, demons exist, say it's not the fairy tale about it exists, Satan exists, God exists, you know, it's up to us to choose which way, you know, we want to go. But, yeah. Oh, I know, what I, this is what I really forgot. I noticed when I watch these movies... The first thing these people do is, um, they don't really, like, try to, like, bring God or anything into it. They don't, like, pray more or go to church more. They don't even start doing stuff until the people come in their house and tell them. Sometimes they don't even do that. This is just me personally. If this kind of stuff ever happened to me, um, I would pray. And I'm so serious. I'm not even joking. Because I know the only thing that's gonna help me in that situation you know is god that's that's it i mean his presence you know because um yeah but i really noticed that and that's really crazy the people in um in that movie they said, oh, we're not the church going people. And when the people started putting crosses in their house, it was like, you know, that's going to get a reaction out of them or, or whatever. Another thing, which I thought this was really dumb. In the beginning of the movie, it's a story with Annabelle doll. Now, how this thing starts is the three people that was living in the house. They said that a spirit came to them or whatever it was came to them. Said they was lonely and asked them, could they live inside of the doll's body? They said yes. That is... Mm, no, I'm sorry. That wouldn't happen with me. If a spirit came to me, first of all, I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. And that's it. You're not... I, I, I mean, there's no way possible that I would ever tell a yes. Ever. No, I'm sorry. I don't want like that. But I thought that was that was pretty weird. I don't know why they would do that. And then they wondered why the dog kept on haunting them and messing with them. I mean, it's common sense. You told you basically told it yes. So or whatever. Now I'm done. That was everything. So with that being said, see you guys later.